Less than 3,500 people have received the prestigious Congressional Medal of Honor. Today, there are only 85 living recipients. Naperville North High School students recently had the chance to meet two of those men and hear their stories. NCTV 17's Michelle Corliss has more. Today, members of the United States Marine Corps have their own way of greeting one another. But when Herschel Woody Williams served during World War II, the Marines had a different way of saying hello. hello. Williams and Vietnam veteran Gary Biker recently came to the Judd Kendall VFW to tell Naperville North students about their experiences during war and describe the significance of the Congressional Medal of Honor. The medal that we wear symbolizes the thousands and thousands of men and women who daily sacrifice above and beyond. Woody Williams enlisted in the Marines in 1943 when he was just 19 years old. He was one of the 70,000 troops who fought in the historic Battle of Iwo Jima, and one of the 27 who received the Congressional Medal of Honor for his efforts. Thirteen of us were blessed enough that we got to come home. We lived. The others didn't. 22 years after World War II ended, Gary Bikert enlisted in the Army as a medic. On April 1st, 1970, he was shot multiple times but continued to give care to others in the field. But the bullets that hit him weren't what left lasting damage. What killed me was the emotional wounds, the scarring when I came home, the homecoming. I went back to a college campus in 1971 and was spit on. Today he speaks about the war to groups around the country. Naperville North students in the audience took different parts of his presentation to heart. I learned that living a significant life is more important than learning a, living a successful life, that I could really impact someone else's life at any age, not like just being an adult. Williams and Weikert say the people who impacted them the most were the men they served with. I'm Michelle Corliss for Naperville News 17. President Barack Obama will soon present another Congressional Medal of Honor to United States Marine Corps Corporal Dakota Meyer. The 23-year-old will be the first living Marine to receive a Medal of Honor since the Vietnam War.